Okay, so here is East Dioclesia and Vocational Institute. Wow. After two weeks, finally back outdoors, and I can honestly say that it feels pretty darn good to be back outdoors. And if you're at the entries, you'll know why that happened, so I'm not going to bore you on video about that. Instead, we're just going to focus on this large high school, or at least it looks large. Actually, no, who am I kidding? This place is large, without a doubt. Just to stop to pan my surroundings for a bit. Just to make sure there's nobody coming from behind. I don't know, but just judging from my surroundings, it looks like it's going to be quite scenic. It looks really clear in there, almost as if there's like lights on, as if it's actually open, even though it isn't. It's pretty cool. Actually, I wonder if it'd be a better idea for me to actually come out here so I can get a better view of the school. I don't know. Because when I'm up out, out here, like, sure, we can get underneath the building right here, but then if I'm out there, we'll get a better view of the school, so. Yeah, actually, no, I'll just stay here. Because when I take pictures, I'll be out there anyway, so it's really not that big a deal. Uh, they have here plastered off. I think you can see some black truck ahead. I don't know. It's, actually, no, it is on camera. It's just not super close. Probably somebody running around the track. That's my best bet. Actually, no. It looks like it's the school's truck. Never mind. It's actually pretty vacant out here. I don't even see anyone on the track, actually. Wow. Hmm. Wonder what gives. Not that I'm complaining, because it makes it easier to actually just go around and go everywhere without looking creepy. No parking along the wall. Well, I don't know why anyone would do something that dumb, but hey, there are people out there that have done it at least once, so they have to put that warning there. Or even if they haven't, they don't want it to happen. Now, there is another school close by, I think it's Vincent Massey, so I'll probably cover that after this one. I should go here. I should actually no. You know, I think at this point I might as well just walk out to the fields, and then I can come back around here through a lane of the portables and finish filming the building. Now, of course, this is also going to be pretty boring. Maybe just some, but I just want to showcase this. Actually, why am I walking this way when there's like an opening right here? Just let me into the fields. Have I been doing a good job of keeping this thing still and high? I don't think I have. Um, okay. So, yeah. Not a soul to be seen around here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's somebody in the distance. So... Yes, it does look like they do share with that other elementary school. I could be wrong. I have no idea. But it would likely seem so because, like, they're really close to one another. Like, the only thing that really separates them, I believe, is, like, the fencing. So, yeah, that's it up there. I'm not going to bother walking around. just wanted to come out here just to catch it on camera. Now, 
uh, cut way through one of these blocks and come back to the school. Do not enter. Well, that's too bad. I just entered. But you know they're talking about cars, not pedestrians. Pedestrians are good to go. See a wrong way sign up there. The conditions are quite interesting because they said it was supposed to rain a little bit. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Can you imagine raining three weekends in a row? That would really suck. Like, really. It's not terribly warm out right now also, but at the same time, it's not terribly cold either. So, can't complain too much. And what is up with that portable? Well, I have some writing. I could have gone closer, but I didn't feel like it. Okay, I think we've already seen this part, so I should probably just make a turn around here, like a left turn, and get away from it. And showcase some more interesting things. Or am I walking too quickly? You know, I think I'm walking at an all right pace. Actually, no, it looks like I might be coming out to the front soon. Oh, should I get close to that fence? No, I shouldn't. That's really boring. Okay, so because the cars are directed this way, it would make sense to step away from the building. And step away from the lanes. Yeah, right over there. This is Vincent Massey. I'll get him done in a little bit. Okay, this looks interesting. Let's hope there's nobody lurking around. So I have to approach it with a little bit of caution. Now it's likely me just being paranoid and silly, but you never ever know. Actually, it doesn't look like anybody can loiter because everything is pretty much fenced off over there. And then over here, there's no secret alley or anything like that. I can kind of hear my voice echoing. Yeah, completely fenced off over here. So you're not going to be able to linger around there. And you can't even climb the fences because there's some sharp things up there and it's barred off. So that's good. What are these for? Automotives? Yeah, I think this must be for the automotive class. Maybe like the welding class. Possibly the woodworking class. I don't know. Let's just see. It's for our trades class. Do not block the door. Wait, hold on. I think it says right here. Reserve parking auto shop. Okay, so it pertains to automotives. So it's good to read the signs. Even though it may seem kind of lame and excessive sometimes, it gives you an idea of what you're supposed to do, where you are, and whatnot. So it's good. What's not good is it all those dandelions there because they just choke up everything else. But that's very random. But it's true. Is anyone in there? No. Of course there's not anyone in there. It'll be kind of funny if there's somebody in there and I just stood and stared at them and they were like, uh, okay, what is this? Sketch Lord doing. I must the front of the sign. I can see another corner down there. I'm just gonna take my time and get to it. Hopefully nobody's lingering there. And no. Nobody loitering no smoking yes this looks like a corner where somebody would just possibly be doing something creepy like that well no not a smoking is creepy but just doing some other kind of creepy thing like who knows you can get creative here
Okay, and that is it for Eastdale CVI. Did you like this large high school and its scenic surroundings? Did you like this video itself? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for more information, and visit my Twitter page to my latest tweet. And do not forget to also participate in the polls in the top right corner in the eye circle.